Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the pixelate Photoshop action. So before we get started, let's view a few examples. With this action, you need to mark your main subject area, which is here in red, the entire figure. And then you need to mark another area where the main dispersion effect will take place. That area is marked in blue. So we'll mark these two layers in two different layers. Uh, we'll get into details when we run this action. And you have four different directions to choose from. Left, up, right and down. Over here we have applied the left effect. And this is how the final effect looks like. Here we'll again apply a left dispersion. Now this effect, this action creates a background reconstruction technique where we have the main subject dispersed and the background visible through it. You can also keep the main background, main subject image in place of this dispersed subject style. We'll get into details when we go over this as we run the action. In this case, we'll go for a right dispersion. Here again, you can see that the background has been reconstructed and the main subject has been dispersed away. In this image, we have retained the main subject image intact with a little bit of pixelated effect on this area where we marked Here's another example of the background reconstructed with the subject being dispersed away. This one is with the subject intact. This is an example of upward dispersion. Now this action also creates 10 predefined color presets. You can choose from this color uh, effects by simply clicking the eyeball icons and showing this. This one is an example of downward dispersion. Okay, uh, so this is the last of our examples. Now let's get started. Let's load up our image. Uh, I'll choose this one because it has got a background which with which we can show the uh, background reconstruction. So now uh, to load up the action, uh, sorry, before that we need to check a few things as we load up the image. Go to this image mode and check the image is in RGB color and the 8 bits per channel is also checked. Now click this flyout list and select panel options and check use default masks on fill layers and add copy to copy layers and groups are checked. Now regarding image size this action works best with images having size around 2500 to 4000 pixels.
white or high you can uh, change your image size and increase it and if the image becomes blurry after the action has been finished rendering you can always revert back to your original size and make this resolution 300 it works best with uh, resolution of 300 dpi okay now let's load up the action to do that go to window actions now click this flyout list and select load actions select pixelate photoshop action and click load so here you can see that the pixelate photoshop action has been loaded and it has got four directions we can choose from any one of these four now let's load up the brush select this brush tool and click this drop down menu and then click this gear icon now select the load brushes and select pixelate brushes and click load one thing to check over here is that the opacity and the flow must be 100 percent these two parameters must be set to 100 percent for the action to work properly one more thing that we need to check is your main image should be a background locked layer like if you cropped your image or did some other adjustments and your layer is something like this layer zero or anything else then you need to change it to a background locked layer to do that go to layer new background from layer. so you have a background locked layer okay now let's uh, create one new layer by clicking this new layer icon and rename this layer as subject subject must be in lowercase for the action to work properly now let's uh, select our main subject from this background image you can use various techniques i'll use your quick selection tool to quickly select You can take as much time as you want to make a fine selection. You can use various tools like pen tool or magnetic lasso tool. Or if you have a tablet, you can also paint over the areas. Okay, so this will do fine for me I'll just fill this one up with any color I'll take this brush the first brush provided it's a hard round brush you can increase the size by the square brackets key on the keyboard or by here and I'll quickly fill this up now I'll deselect the selection now I need to make a second layer and mark the area where I want to apply the main dispersion effect like this one so the area I mark will turn into dispersion and will like break away from the main image our main image is the red area and the blue area is the part of the image that will break apart so now i'll mark that area so to do that we need to create another new layer above the subject and rename it as area it must be in lower case otherwise the action will not work properly now i'll again take a hard round brush and any color in this case i'll choose another color just uh, to differentiate it and i'll 
brush over the area where I want the dispersion effect to apply. Okay, let's see how it goes. So it should break apart from this blue region. Everything looks fine. So here we'll be going for a left dispersion. So select the left dispersion and click play. We'll fast forward from here, it'll take some time and we'll get back when it's complete. Okay, so the action has finished rendering. This is how the final effect looks like. So let's see what we have got over here. This is the background elements. We have base image. The main image with the pixel dispersion effects and 10 pretty fine color presets and an overall adjustment in the background elements we have a background pixel you can see there are small pixels in the background you can simply hide this layer to just retain the original background or enable them to give a pixelated effect you can also change the opacity We have a solid background color you can fill it with a solid background color if we don't want the original background you can change the color it's a color fill there just by double clicking on it I'll hide this one for now we have another adjustment uh, background grid kind of layer which gives a small pixelated grids And this is our main reconstructed background layer. Here you can see this part of the uh, sea uh, has been reconstructed. Now let's go into this base image group. So here we have the base image dispersed and this one is the complete. So just hide this as uh, just show this uh, layer to retain the original base image and while you are using this base image disposed layer you can also like if you think unnecessary unwanted parts of the main image has broken away you can simply take uh, one of these brushes and paint with color white on the layer mask To show parts of the main image we also have this layer base image pixelated this layer creates pixelated effect on the main image you can also hide parts of this uh, layer with color black and paint on the layer mask if you think it's there on some unwanted areas like on the face now this one is the base image levels adjustment just double click on it and you can change the effect of the base image so the hue saturation here we have the pixel elements let me zoom out a bit now these are nearer pixels smaller near pixels near nearer to the main image these are some medium pixels, medium blur, some random white pixels. Now what you can do is you can simply right click on it and duplicate this layer. Now you can take this move tool and move this layer around to give it a more denser look. You can duplicate this layer again 
and she can move it around to give it a more tensile look so we have the larger pixels and layers in the app area we can also hide this part uh, of these layers by simply painting on the mask layer mask with color black I'll simply undo this for now now we have the tin color effects you can simply toggle these eyeball icons and show them here we have the overall adjustments we have an overall color fill change the color we have an overall gradient fill you can adjust this gradient layers We have an overall hue saturation overall gradient map now it's an overall levels brighten let's brighten up the image a bit have an overall brightness and contrast overall curves let's give it the give the highlights a little yellowish tone and the shadows up to one overall color balance now one quick tip i want to give you is that after you are finished with adjusting your image you can simply select this pixelate folder and click shift ctrl alt or options command shift and e to create a composite snapshot of your composition then apply some sharpening to give it a more crisper look go to sh filter sharpen and sharpen more so now you can see this is the final effect that we have if you're not happy with what it's generated you can always remove this pixel folder and again run the action every time you run you will get a different result okay so that's it for now See you soon.